we need to solve using the quadratic formula, which remember we said in the previous question goes like this. Now remember, to use this formula, you need a zero. Do I see a zero here? Nope, there's no zero. So what I want to do first is I want to make that zero by moving everything to the one side. Now I have my zero. When I've got the zero, then a is the number in front of x squared, b is the other number, is in front of x, and then c is the remaining number. So a will be 2, b will be minus 3, and c will be negative 13. Then you literally just go and type that in on this, uh, you type it into the formula, but let me show you what it would look like. So be careful here, so there's a minus, so we put a minus, then a bracket, and then b is minus 3, then I say plus minus. Now b is minus 3, but I must always use a bracket wherever I plug something in. a is 2, c is negative 13, like that, and then at the bottom I've got 2 times a, which is 2. Now I take my calculator and I type it exactly like that. So I'm going to type it exactly as I see it. So it's going to be minus 3, like that, plus the square root. See how it says plus and minus, but you can only do one at a time. Notice how I'm using brackets every time. Then there's a minus 13. Then at the bottom, it's 2 times 2. There we go. Then I push equals. SD, and there's our answer. So x is going to be equal to 3.41. I'm just going to write it on my paper for now. Then to get your other answer, you push backspace a hundred times. It feels like a hundred times. And then you change it to a minus. That's how you get your second answer. And it's going to be minus 1.91. And so the two answers that we get is going to be uh, 3.41 or x equals to negative 1.91. Nine one.